I kind of use the, the fireworks in this level as kind of gating mechanisms to keep you kind of dodging and, and running from from Carmelita while you're while you're playing. All right. And also just to have bigger uh, kind of these big events during the game. Just from texture, and I know like on that mug in mugshot where she's shooting at you, the colors were reversed of this. Like in this one. Uh, Sly Cooper's path was all cool and where Carmelita's jumping around is where we kept the warm colors. Mm. But in the mugshot one, it's kind of reversed where Sly's running on the warm path and she's jumping on the cool mm. buildings. Yeah, doing, doing her effect was kind of like she, she originally had a different, um, entirely different weapon and uh, we really wanted to kind of emphasize the stun gun feel. And, and uh, it was interesting to try to tune because the the color tones of the world in general were, um, you know, she she appeared in several places, and so I was finding something that had a little bit of, you know, uh, this, it has this icy color, but also this sort of orange center to it, and that seemed to work best across the different levels. So uh, was it your idea always to have it to have other ideas besides that dragon, or was it? After I changed from the Buddha one, it was it was I think Devin was the one that mentioned uh, trying to trying to see if we could do a dragon. For it, and then it, which was good because you know for a Chinese dragon, it's you have that great that great shape that you could fold. You could, you know, I could, I was able to fold it and shape it how I needed it for where she's going to stand on and, and stuff like that. And then you put yeah, it in all the all the legs, all the legs and everything like that. Yeah, so they're you know we trying to think of places on the dragon, you know, on the high and low points of the, the humps of the dragon, and then also the, you know, there are these kind of freestanding poles and the abyss of the, you know, the, the mist that you can see down there, and just having her stand in as many different places as possible made her feel really like she was sort of part of the world, but always just out of reach. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a big thing. You have to keep her on screen. Right. Keep her large enough to, to see her. And at the same time, make it seem like you could never get to her. Right. So, so the you closest have to leap off the path to your death or something like that. One of the first drafts I did of it had a giant like panda Buddha statue like laying on its side where she was jumping on. It just wasn't the same. <laughs> so I'm glad we went with the golden dragon. Never got to see that one. <laughs> I tried to keep it away from it. It wasn't very, it wasn't very good. Watch your back, Cooper. When you least expect it, I'll be there.